And it does look like tomorrow is going to be nice too for okay. the home opener. We're going to try to hold off the rain until Friday. Take a look at Winston-Salem right now in the foreground. You can see all of those trees, which yes, they're very beautiful unless you are an allergy sufferer and tree pollen happens to be the culprit because it is out in full force out there right now. We'll bring you up to date on that in a second. Speaking of the dash home opener forecast looking good. Temperatures close to 70 degrees tomorrow evening with mostly sunny skies. Later evening temps dipping down into the mid 60s. Still very nice. High Point Rockers 22 days away from the home opener on May 2nd. We've got a little bit of light wind out there right now, but it's really comfortable. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s. Martinsville at 76, Lexington 76, 73 in North Wilkesboro. Dew points are very low, meaning there's not a lot of water in the air, which makes it really comfortable dry air to be out in. It also allows the temperatures to cool off quite a bit. So tomorrow morning we're looking at some upper 40s for the mountains and foothills and temperature close to 50 degrees in the triad. No storm storms on the radar and satellite map for now. At least no rainstorms. There is a massive snowstorm that is taking place out over the Plains states. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Here's your triad forecast for tomorrow. We start at 50. We quickly warm up, though. We're in the upper 60s by lunchtime. Winds pick up a little bit in the afternoon. We will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 75. Foothills, a high of 73 tomorrow afternoon. South wind, 5, 10 miles an hour. Not too humid tomorrow either. It'll be maybe a touch more water in the air, but not too bad. In the mountains, 66 tomorrow afternoon and notice the winds out of the south at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Did you notice all the yellow pine pollen in particular out there today? You could see it in the air at times. Very high pollen counts are expected to continue for tree pollen through Friday oak, pine, willow, and birch. Even the weeds are starting to come up a little bit with a high count out there today, and that is expected to remain through tomorrow into Friday. Now, by Friday, we're going to try to knock it down a little bit because we're going to bring up rain chances. 60% on Friday, 40% on Saturday, and 70% on Sunday. Again, this is rain, not snow. If you look here, this bright orange, which covers parts of Colorado all the way up through the Dakotas, that is blizzard warning. So you're talking about 40 mile an hour winds, at least with blowing heavy snow. Yeah, they're going to see some foot, foot and a half totals of snow from this storm system in April. And by tomorrow, in fact, close to a foot of snow. Then they'll be adding to that on Friday. And then there's another weather system coming in early next week. Watch what happens to Breckenridge in Colorado. You're going to see that number double. As if you are heading a spring break trip out there and you like to ski, Perfect, right? For Friday, we've got rain in the forecast, a chance for thunderstorms. I've upped the rain chance on Saturday. Won't be a washout, but there'll at least be some showers and maybe a thunderstorm around. Next weather system comes in here on Sunday. Makes it pretty damp across the southeast, it looks like. So if you've got some Sunday plans, plan on some showers and some thunderstorms. So there's the seven-day. We're going to see temperatures a little bit cooler on the other side of that one in the upper 60s on Monday.